Hello everyone and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we're going to be trying out a Chinese Type 9 menu number one single meal ration. I know in my last video I said I was going to go to Russia. I was going to try the Russian Emercom ration that I have. It was getting close on the Best Buy date. But oddly enough, all three mains were the rice porridge with beef. There was supposed to be like a uh, beef with beans and vegetables in another beef dish, but no. All three mains were the rice dish. So I figured, well, not really a complete ration. So I figured I'd do just a little single meal ration, something really quick. I still haven't figured out what I want to do with my uh, 100 subscriber giveaway. I'll probably just do something easy like a UK ration, just give it away. But I still need to do video on that. It's been a busy week, even though I was off all week. It, man, I've been trying to get the house for sale. But it was nice to have some time off for a change, that's for sure. But anyway, about this ration. Got your information on here. I believe, let's see, 300 grams. I believe that's the main, which it should be. It's 300 grams. I think this is steamed rice with uh, red beans. Um, 80 grams, I believe this is cake. 40 grams um, is these weird beef egg rolls. I haven't had them before. It's going to be interesting. Uh, 55 grams for your uh, fruit. I don't know if it's going to be peaches or pineapple. Uh, 15 grams for your spicy sauce. 10 grams for your drink mix. And for nutritional info, I believe that comes out to about 1,100 calories. You got 27.4 grams of fat, 33.3 grams of protein, 176.4 carbs, and you got a three year shelf life. With this one, it was packed on September 15th, 2017. And we got this from the great people at Foreign MRE. So let's get this opened up. See what we got. And we have our main. Oh, it comes in a little insulated bag. Meals already in the flameless ration heater. And it has, I think it's two pads. These heaters start up really quick, really fast. So I just try and, when I put the water in, I usually make sure they're already in the bag, ready to go. And you have a little pouch with a line on there to measure your water out with. And this is your spicy sauce. Nope, that's a drink mix. Spicy sauce. Have a napkin with a spoon. I believe this is, yeah, that's the egg rolls. And here is, hang on here. No, that's the cake. This is the egg rolls. And got your fruit. And it's just said it's I've seen before it only feels like there's like three slices of I guess peaches in there. And that's everything. Okay, let me get my train and get started. Start getting our meal heated up. Let's see what side of the pouch is on. Oh, sorry. Show this again. There's pouches on both sides. And a lot of times, I'm going to throw my little egg rolls in there too, warm up some. Okay. that folded in. Make sure everything's activating. 
And yeah, she's ready. One thing I do not like about these Chinese rations is that the flameless ration heaters stink. But I'm going to let that heat up a few minutes and we'll come back and get the rest of the stuff ready. Okay, our main's been heating up for about seven, eight minutes now. We'll get everything else ready, starting with our drink. I always found the flavor of these quite odd. Okay, check out our cake. If I remember right, this is like your, uh, kind of like your basic pound cake. And it is. This one's, uh, yeah, smells good. It seems to be baked a little darker than the normal ones, but, uh, I'm sure you can see the gloss on there. It's, a uh, kind of oily. And our fruit. Yep, three little sliced peaches. Let's get our main out of here. Get it ready. It's one thing I do not like about oh, like Chinese rations. I don't know if you can see. You can see like just the gray chemical residue on the package but first before I forget them get our little egg rolls all right and our main I'm not even going to try and break it up uh oh Maybe I might have to. I forgot, this is steamed rice, not fried, so it's not very oily. So trying to get it out of here, and if the bean paste, yeah, it's sticky. Unfortunately, it's just so darn hot. Come on, be nice. All right, fine. Man, it's stuck in there. Problem is, the container is just so hot. Well, I'm just having all kinds of difficulty with this one. There we go. Now that we're back in business, that is a uh, that is so sticky. Wow. Reminds me of a uh, mochi. I guess we'll uh, start with these little egg rolls first. Hang on a minute, so you can see the inside. You can tell the uh, meat in it is really highly processed. A little bit salty. Flavor's okay. I think that's the uh, same type of little sausage links you get in some of the other Chinese rations. But compared to some of the other ones, the, uh, the actual egg roll part on this is actually quite dry. A lot of ones I usually see, it's real soggy. Yeah, it's okay. One thing I should have done this time is just poured the peaches out right all over the cake because the cake can be a little bit dry. But I want to try a little bit of this main. I just want to try some of the rice without any of the uh, bean paste on there. God, it's sticky. Compared this steamed rice to the uh, fried rice dishes, this rice is very plain, very soft. It's like they didn't season the rice at all. But I want to try this bean paste. Trying it on its own. 
Yeah, the red bean paste has an okay flavor. It is sweet. Also a little bit bland. Try a little bit of everything together. Yeah, that is very bland. But that's why they make spicy sauce. Because it's going to get the whole pack. I don't know if I'll finish all this though. This is definitely not one of my favorites. Let's see, the spicy sauce, salty, adds a lot of flavor. I don't know why they call it spicy sauce. It's a little bit spicy. But it's got a lot of salt and it's good flavor. But yeah, the sauce does improve the flavor quite a bit. It kind of tastes like lemon, lime, pineapple. Just a little bit of everything. It tastes okay, though. And give our peaches a try. I know they're just canned peaches. Yeah, they're okay. And our cake. Like I said, it's kind of like a pound cake. Wow, this one's really dense. But I don't know where that's going. Yeah, that is uh, not like the cake I had in the last ration. I mean, it's the same flavor and everything. And it's dry like the last one, but this one's just really dense. Like they didn't put in any baking powder in there to lighten it up. <laughs> I about can't go through it with my spoon without worrying I'm going to break it. But at least it'll taste a lot better. Yeah, it's better. I remember the last Chinese ration I had, after I turned the camera off, I put some dark rum on that pound cake. That made it taste a whole lot better. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick review of this Type 9 Chinese single meal ration, menu number one. It's not bad. I do like red bean paste. But this was, I don't know, just a little bit bland. You definitely need the spicy sauce to help it out. These little egg rolls are definitely different. But they tasted okay. But as for where we're heading next, I know I was supposed to be there this time and go to Russia. But I don't know what they were thinking when they packed that one. But I do have another Russian ration in there. I think I got two. So I guess that's what we're going to try again next time. But if you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.